This video lesson that you're about to watch was launched on my e-learning website here not too long ago, proudly sponsored by Ceremonic, the company that specializes in making quality audio devices. And this video lesson here is one of the seven video lessons that you can find in this entire whole course. And this whole course is totally free. If you sign up now on my website, head on here, you're gonna get this whole seven video lesson course entirely free, probably brought to you by Ceremonic. So thank you, Ceremonic, for making this possible. Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a filming producer, director, and trainer. In this series of videos, I'll be sharing and guiding you how you can choose your next purchase of microphones correctly, how to set them up the right way, and how to use them in the best scenarios. This series of videos are proudly brought to you by Ceremonic, an international brand that specializes in making quality professional audio equipment. Throughout these videos, I'll be introducing to you and showcasing Ceremonic's top of the range digital studio condenser microphone, the SRMV7000. I'll show you why this microphone is really good and how to use it to its maximum capabilities. Let's get started. But before that, I think we need to understand how microphones work, the different types of microphones and how they behave differently. Let's start there. Microphones are actually devices that pick up sound, which will then eventually allow you to record them either analog or digitally. I bet you would have seen different types of microphones throughout your life. You would have used this in a karaoke. And you would have seen this in behind the scenes of famous Hollywood movies, where you have the audio guy holding this. And then you would have seen this on the labels and colors of newscasters. And then you would have seen this where you have your favorite singers singing to them. Well, to be honest, there are so many different types of microphones, but they all fall neatly into two categories. The dynamic microphone or the condenser microphones. Well, looking at the microphones that I talked about earlier, this is where they fall mostly. And why are they called dynamic microphone and why are they called condenser microphones? First, let's look at the dynamic microphone. Let's look at the anatomy inside one. Let's just slice it open and this is what you will see. You see a diaphragm. This is where the sound waves come from. And then you will have this magnet and outside this magnet you have a coil and then eventually this will be transported as audio signal through the wires and cables to your recording devices. This is a dynamic microphone. The telltale sign is a dynamic microphone is when you have a magnet and a coil, a solenoid like this. Now let's look at a condenser microphone. Similarly, like a dynamic microphone, the sound wave comes from here and you have a diaphragm, but this is where the similarity ends. You notice that it has no magnet and no solenoid, which means that in order for it to transmit sound, you need to supply it with electricity. And that is the biggest differences between a dynamic microphone and a condenser microphone. Viewers, for a dynamic microphone, when the sound wave hits the diaphragm, this will vibrate and this will cause the solenoid to move in and out of this magnet. The movement of the diaphragm of the solenoid on the magnet will create electromagnetic signal, which will then allow you to be recording the audio. But if you look at a condenser microphone, which doesn't have the magnet and the solenoid, you need to supply it with electricity and a circuitry to get that sound signal. So you now understand the anatomic difference between a condenser microphone and a dynamic microphone. We can now safely say that a condenser microphone needs electricity, which is why it's called an active microphone. Whereas the dynamic microphone doesn't need one, it's called passive microphone. So by that, an active microphone needs some form of electricity by way of putting in batteries or maybe using phantom power. More on phantom power later. So if you look at the insights of both the dynamic microphone and the condenser microphone, we can safely come up with the conclusion of the benefits of the condenser microphone. Firstly, and because it's smaller and lighter, a condenser microphone can also be more sensitive and accurate. And apart from that, talking about being sensitive and accurate, if you make the condenser microphone even bigger, it's going to be even more sensitive and accurate. And because you're putting in external power to the condenser microphone, this means that you can accurately control the output 
of the condenser microphone. And that is why when it comes to high quality studio recordings, studio professionals prefer to use condenser microphones. So that explains why when it comes to live performances and karaoke session, less delicate usage of microphones, they would prefer to use the dynamic microphone like this. That's why you can have your favorite singing stars doing mic drops and not wor <laughs> worry a thing about that microphone because they are less sensitive a little bit cheaper though some can be really expensive but the point here is that you don't go dropping an expensive studio condenser microphone because it's really sensitive and delicate equipment that can reproduce sound if you drop this on the floor do you think we spoil that mic so before we go diving into using the SRMB7000 and how to set up a studio condenser microphone the benefits of using a studio condenser microphone number one you get superb quality audio. Number two, you get full spectrum refined sound. And number three, because of the quality of the recording, you can now have a bigger and wider leverage when it comes to post-processing your audio. And number four, using a studio condenser microphone, especially one that is like SRMV7000, it's gonna really make you look good. It's like top of the class, you know, separate you from those mic dropping guys. So viewers, Quickly, head on to my website here and grab this whole e-learning course with its 7 video lessons totally for free. Oh, and one more thing, our Black Friday 50% off promo is still on. It has been extended, but hurry, it's going to end soon. So hurry, grab our e-learning's premium courses and all access account before it ends very soon.